Well, Juventus make new Thomas Party contacts. Looks like they are not going to gate all over Thomas Party. They had convinced him to obviously join them. Party had made up his mind, but Ateta had found a way of obviously convincing him to stay. But they look like they are not going to stop. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys and where you watching us from? I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If you're truly watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a day. Remember, want to hit 17,000 subscribers before the end of this month. And how would you subscribe? Lower right bottom corner is the place to be. Smash the black button that has the word subscribe. After smashing it, hit the notification bell. That will enable you to get notified every time you upload a video onto this channel. Follow us on Twitter at Rokani Media FB for all your latest news and information as far as these, these stories are really concerned. Now, it's obviously one of those days that you have to come in here and obviously work in the morning before you go to bed to really unleash the story of Thomas Party that I've gone ahead to find hot onto the socials. And hurricane transfer deadline has been set by Bayern Munich amidst Daniel Levy being a very hardball player in transfers not wanting to sell Harry Kane they've made up their mind they've given him the deadline to get this deal happen now Declan Rice to Arsenal was a deal done and dusted but that left a very huge gap in between their midfield and guess what they've gone ahead to find a replacement for Declan Rice and he is set to be playing for West Ham maybe at the beginning of this Premier League season. So we thank God for the gift of life and I cover you all with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Lau Fikum, and may Allah see you go through all what you want to really reach. Now, let's start it off with Dimazio. Dimazio is one of the celebrated um, football transfer news journalists and uh, <coughs> he hails in from Italy and he's talking about the Thomas party transfer and this is what he had to say <coughs> about the Thomas party transfer he said moving on to midfield Frank Kessy seems destined to Arabia or Saudi Arabia so the name of Thomas party regains altitude there have been new contacts for the Ghanaian but the operation would only materialize if there were to be another exit in the department where McCain can really stay now Thomas Partey has always been wanted by Juventus and I know the cause of all this. I've always come out and told you the truth about this. That uh, the reason for Thomas Partey to obviously want out initially at the beginning of the summer transfer window was simple. There were talks that asked me are going to go in and really sign two central midfielders. Meaning that Thomas Partey knew that he was not going to get enough playing time because all of the two central midfielders that were being talked about were going to be bought expensively. It was said that Arsenal was going to go in for Moise Quesido and Declan Rice. And they pulled out of the Moise Quesido deal because it was seeming expensive and they went in for Declan Rice for £105 million. But even after they went in for Declan Rice, Thomas Party was not convinced of enough playing time because there was Eugenio and now Declan Rice coming in through and the manager Michela Teta needed to sit him down and obviously tell him please you are in my plans I'm going to play you in this game of football and this team is really going to see you thrive in that midfield and Thomas Party obviously got the foot of the pedal and he got hold of the hand brace it is that he doesn't <coughs> obviously stop himself from really give going to Juventus. Now, as things stand, Thomas Partey has been contacted again by Juventus in preparation of the season. And they are so much afraid that they might lose McCain and they should go in for Thomas Partey. Looks like the agent of Thomas Partey is not yet convinced with Mikel Arteta's plans because recently we've seen Mikel Arteta even play Declan Rice and Thomas Partey in the same team, meaning that that is acting as a gleam of hope for Thomas Partey to be still the main man in that central defense midfield area. And I think Ateta's plan is to play Kai Havertz, Odegaard, and Declan Rice. But for the start of the season, for us not to pick up, I think he's going to be playing with Thomas Partey 
and Declan Rice. Even the game they're going to play on Sunday against Man City, he's going to play with Declan Rice. But that doesn't really stop this deal from happening because Thomas Partey is still giving his ears to Juventus and he wants to obviously and play that side. But my big question is, can they offer him the amount of money that Arsenal offer him? That is the big question because they are pleading, they on their knees pleading for players like Paul Pogba who earn some good amount of money at Juventus to obviously come out and obviously not allow the contract. Sorry, to obviously come out and reduce on the amount of money they earn weekly. So Thomas Party earns £200,000 a week. Can a Juventus that has been obviously thrown over out of the Champions, out of the Conference League, you know, get the nerves to obviously pay that astronomical fee to Thomas Partey, I really doubt. And I think that is something that cannot see this deal happen. Though, it leaves you with a room of hope that it might happen because Thomas Partey is the same man who obviously turned down a move to Saudi Arabia that was going to double his salary by a certain Saudi Pro League and he said no, meaning that he might not be moved up with money but he'd rather stay at Arsenal because he's going to play the Champions League and Juventus is not. You came to Arsenal to see that you take it to the Champions League and now it's in the Champions League. Does it make sense for you to leave? At least give them one season <coughs> in the Champions League and then quit because lots of teams will come in through and obviously call for the signing of Thomas Party next summer, though he'll go on a cheap because he'll be left with one year on his contract. Because when he came in through from Atletico Madrid, he signed five years at Arsenal. That was 2020, and he's left with two years on his contract. So Arsenal is waiting to see to it that they keep him this summer and they'll weigh in on him next summer whether they keep him or not, or they go in for another central defensive midfielder that will fall up his boots. But it wouldn't have looked nice if at all Arsenal loses Thomas Partey and Jacques at the same time. And you saw how they've gone ahead to thrive together with Declan Rice, where they're being played in the same midfield. So that's it coming in from Arsenal Juventus, making new contact on Thomas Partey. Now, we go to Fabrizio Romano telling us some huge update about Hurricane. Bayern Munich want and expect Tottenham to decide today about Hurricane deal as reported earlier. The position is clear on Bayern's side. Make or break after new improved bid. Bayern already has green light from Hurricane but deal only depends on Daniel Levy now. So today <coughs> is really a make or break it. That is it. They've gone ahead to make an improved bid of 86 million pounds and they've gone ahead to submit it in and they want to see the deal of Hurricane over the line. But Daniel Levy, having gone ahead to play hide and seek and play hardball for very many transfers in history, for this one, he is in the weakest position of negotiation. Do you know why? The player is left with money on his contract. His boss told him that, please, we want to see Hurricane sold. We want to see Hurricane sold. We can't see ourselves lose him out on the free. So he's trying to play the L game. It's it, it that he gets in more money. He has made PSG and PSG have gone ahead to pull out of this deal because they are agreeing a deal with Goncalo Ramos of Benifica. So they are trying to play all what it takes to it, it that they get more more than 86 million pounds but looks like it's not going to be possible because Bayern is willing to pull out of the deal and if at all they pull out of the deal no team is going to come out and sign Harry Kane meaning that they are going to lose Harry Kane on a free and if I told you were Anje Portsakeglu you wouldn't like to find yourself in a situation like this of having your team captain having not again to agree, having not again to agree a deal of either departure or staying at Spurs, but he has come out several times and said they are not yet sure of whether Ken is going to stay or not. So for Harry Kane's status, we all know that he wants to leave. He has gone ahead to agree a deal with Juventus, sorry, with Bayern Munich 
her wife was there looking for a house that he's more of a green light that this deal is obviously in the hands of spurs but for hurricane his heart is already in munich bayern germany and he wants to go that side so we wait and see how that pans out but a deadline has been set that is today and if at all they don't agree then they move out to the next target that is coming in from fabricio romano and it's a very huge update that you need to obviously grasp and really take in now let's go to west ham a little bit west ham sold um, declan rice to arsenal and um, they sold him for 105 million pounds record bid and now looks like they went in for scott mctominy united called for a lot of money they put in a 40 million bid for corner garaga and that bid was rejected by chelsea meaning that maybe chelsea is not willing to sell corner garaga and pochettino is not really positive for that now they've gone ahead and obviously agreed terms with a replacement that i really believe is really good and is going to make them look a more better midfield especially with him with paqueta and this guy is called edison Alaves. West Ham have now reached an agreement on personal terms with Ajax's midfielder, that is Edison Alaves. Up to West Ham to discuss the deal with Ajax as negotiations will follow over the weekend. <coughs> deal depends on clubs. Edison Alaves said yes. Now, it shows you what a team, Eric Ten Hag, had gone ahead to assemble that it's almost extinct at Ajax. The goalkeeper Onana is at Man United. Uh, Mazuru with the right back is at is at Bayern Munich. <laughs> Taglifico, the left back, is at um, mm, I think he's at Lyon. I think he's playing for Lyon, right? Then <laughs> Julian Timber at Arsenal. Lisandro Martinez at Man United. Uh, Graven Batch at um, Bayern Munich, uh, Sebastian Haller at Borussia Dortmund, Anthony at Man United, um, Dusan Tadic, he's in Turkey, and now Edison Alaves is also leaving. I think the only member of that squad left is, is it Claxen, and Claxen also wants out, meaning that Ajax have to go in to accept a rebuild of their team, but they're gonna hate to make lots of money from these players you know 100 million euros for anthony 50 million euros for lisandro martinez 40 million euros for for julian timba you get i think julian timba is like 50 million euros so they're gonna in just three players they're gonna hate to make close to 200 million euros that's a lot of money and ax best sell was I think in 20, uh, 2019 when they sold <coughs> when they sold Frank de Jong for 85 million euros to Barcelona and Delete for 80 million euros to Juventus. I think that was their best sale. But this time around, they're gonna hate to make some good sales and they're gonna hate to get in some good money for those players and they need to do a rebuild that we all need to see who they are getting in. And who they're not getting in but it going to it's going to take them some good years to do a rebuild as eric ten hag did though for eric ten hag he came in and obviously got instant success but it looks like west ham are going to discuss with ajax get a fee and see this player come to london so guys your thoughts on to juventus making new thomas party contacts are welcome in the comment section below what do you make about um, what do you make about Harry Kane transfer deadline said do you think Daniel Levy will dance to the tunes of Bayern Munich and lastly do you think Alves Edson Alves is the best replacement for Declan Rice at West Ham remember teams like Borussia Dortmund were in for him Chelsea also wanted him and a little bit linked to Man United and Liverpool I sign out for now. See you later. Good morning, guys. I cover you all with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living to God bless you abundantly. And my Muslim viewers and subscribers, Barak Lauf Hikun. And good morning. See you in the morning. Later at around 9 a.m. or 8 
a.m. Goodbye. I'm off to bed.